Hello folks, welcome. This is Josh Drew here. Check out my blog, JoshDrew.com, for all the, um, the latest I've been reading, researching, as well as things going on the, on the internet. Um, today I'm going to talk about the law of process. It's the third law in the Laws of Leadership by John C. Maxwell. And I think that after reading this again, and really kind of um, taking some notes and and um, kind of really paying attention to it. I believe that the law of process is actually the backbone or the, the fundamentals, the, the foundation of A, being a leader, being a successful businessman in life, in business, relationships, spirituality, everything. I think it, it all, it's all um, process. And what I mean by that is, is it talks about the... Um, just leaders, to be a true leader, there's a few things you have to go through in becoming a leader. You don't just all of a sudden wake up truth one day and become a leader. You have to build yourself. You have to constantly learn, constantly taking in information, constantly you know, reaching out to people. It's not just to get up to a leadership stage and stop and you're done. It doesn't work that way. You have to constantly keep on... Um, keep on growing. I mean, like, actually, one of the things that I was just reading in here was um, um, Theodore Roosevelt, you know, when he died in his sleep on uh, 1919 in his home in New York. They found under his pillow a book on self-improvement. So what that's saying is that even someone is a high, obviously a high stature of leadership, a president, you know, who carries, well, that's one of the biggest leadership roles in our country, is still to his dying day learning. So, you know, that, that was a really, um, a really great uh, story to me. It talks about his, his whole lifestyle of just constantly, like, learning, fighting your way up. It's... Because what it does is it, is it bases itself on a couple of principles of um, or phases of leadership. There's basically five ways that was mentioned in this book. Um, it's kind of, I don't want to say like a 12-step program, but kind of like in that sense. Like Because, for example, the first step is I don't, I don't know what I don't know. Admitting that you don't know everything and willing to accept that fact is a huge huge step in the direction of becoming a great leader in the sense that you're opening yourself up to knowledge. So I really like that one. Um, and, you know, it says as long as a person doesn't know what he doesn't know, he isn't going to grow. So if you think that you know everything, then you're obviously not going to learn anything. That's my quote. I like it. Okay. So anyways... I don't know what I need to know. That's phase two, or I know that I need to know. Phase two means that that's basically saying that, hey, I need to learn this to become this, you know? Kind of like just a fine or reassuring that, hey, what, what's in, in store for you to become a good leader is the next step from the main. So, say, hey, I need to learn this. I need to know what I need to know. So that's definitely a great thing. Um, great thing to learn. Um, okay, so then the third step is I know what I don't know. Because this one is about um, is saying that hey, I need to. I know what I need, I need to know. I know that I I need to learn. This one is kind of like has another way of saying I need, I know that I need to know. Um, so they know what I don't know. Me saying, say, hey, I know that I don't know what some of my mentors, uh, Ty Tribble, um, Bo Short, Todd Falcone, Jonathan Budd, there's a big list of people that I read and follow and who I would like to be about, like, or, you know, just to know. So, you know, if that makes sense, I hope it does. Uh, 
if you alliterate that one for me. Phase four is I know and grow, and it starts to show. So once you start learning and growing and showing, you'll, you'll see, you're not in the businesses, even not in the world, you know, when you're out, out you know, going and shopping and you're, you know, you're searching around and you're looking for things there, your presence show off. You know, self, I think it kind of like boils down to just plain old self confidence. And like the more you know, the more it shows. And then people kind of pick up on it, like, hey, this guy knows what he's doing, or he knows what he's talking about when he's talking to people about leadership or business or, you know, even just the casual talk with his friends. It's so, it's so influential. It's, it's unbelievable, you guys. And then I simply know phase five is I simply go because of what I know. And what that means is that um, when you reach phase five, your ability to leave is, becomes more automatic. So you basically use your tools on everyday bait, on everyday thing, and you use yourself instinctively, and it just carries on with you on your day-to-day -day basis, on your business, and whatever. And again, it all falls through the other four steps. So that's mainly the core of it. So what that means is that you constantly have to you get to, you know, you know, you got to uh, basically, like anything else, you have to pay your dues, learn, constantly learn, go through the process of becoming a leader. I highly recommend this book to anybody, even in the corporate world, especially the corporate world. That is, um, like in the last one, that's my big why for doing the network marketing is to basically... Someone just sold it. That's a leaf. I just raked leaves today. As you can tell, in the, sorry, off topic really quick. You can tell my background here, it's almost Halloween. I hope you guys are all having a great Halloween season. It's coming up really fast. It's like halfway through the month almost. And just enjoy yourself, you know. That's kind of on the lighter note. So, yeah, again, check out my blogs and tell me what you think. Please leave comments again, and I will see you guys on the other side.